I believe this is the word of God, word by word, letter by letter, no mistakes. Read this for me. Isaiah. What book about? Second Kings. Yeah, Second Kings. Isaiah was 22 years old when he became king, and he reigned one year in Jerusalem. His mother was. Ahitaliah, the grandmother, granddaughter, the granddaughter of Omri, king of Israel. Right. right. So how old was he when he became king? 22 years old. Actually, you're a preacher, man, I can tell. <laughs> All right. Second Chronicles 22.2. Read it for me. Isaiah was 42 years old when he became oh. king, and he reigned one year in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Ahitaliah, the grandmother of Omri. Granddaughter of Omri. The granddaughter of Omri. So was he 22 or 42? Whichever one. I mean, oh, that's not a good answer, bro. That's not a good answer. How are you gonna say? How are you gonna say whichever one, bro? Uh, I mean, I don't. If you're not prepared, like, just say you don't know, bro. You gotta investigate. You gotta educate yourself in that. But do not say whichever one, because that sounds like you, you don't even care. Um, which I understand, but. I'm just saying, bro, like, there are so many verses and chapters in the Bible that have quote-unquote contradictions, but it's based off the context, okay? That's my opinion. Obviously, anyone can have their, their own opinion, and that's fine. Um, but we got to look at the context. And something that I, like, when I was at school, I talked to one of my friends, and I asked the same question, not about this um chapter of birth specifically but about some something something else right I, I can't even remember uh but he explained to me to this day i remember that but he explained to me that the bible was written by 44 i think it, it was 44 i can't even remember but i think the bible was written by 44 people in a life in a time span of 4,000 years or 400,000 years i can't even remember like, again I, i'm not it was like long 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 ago that i asked that question so it makes sense, perfect sense, that some might say a different age, a different time, different something, you know, because obviously it's not it's not, it's not one person who wrote the Bible, just different person throughout throughout the throughout the years, right? So that's that's the thing. Um, so we try to like match it. Let's say someone that wrote that in a year, whatever, and two hundred years. We have someone writing a different, different statement. Obviously, we're gonna have some difference, uh, difference in between statements. So that makes sense. That's what I understand, in my, my opinion, uh, and that's what I learned from uh, my friend at that time. I don't know if that's, uh, you know, enough for you guys to understand or believe, but that's how I, how I see it because I actually understand. It makes perfectly sense. Um, even if you're not like Christian, you can understand that the Bible was written by different people in different times. Therefore, it's not going to have the same exact details. Okay, that's, that's it. You can it's correct me if I'm wrong. Right there, right? I, you know, I can be wrong. I can be perfectly wrong. You can correct me on the comment section. I just want to like understand because these questions right here, if I get asked this question, I, I know how to answer it. But if, but if someone else that's newborn or something like that I get asked this question or see this video they're gonna think like whoa you're like whoa is it really like true the bible is really true like they're gonna have to start doubts something like that so and and it's it's crazy because i don't even recommend people that's not really like deep into their faith watching these videos it's not because i don't want to be oblivion they just don't know right and if you listen to these people, you're gonna get persuaded into thinking that the Bible is wrong when it's not. Just because you don't have that background to understand that and understand why it happens. It's not a contradiction. Okay, let me ask something. How old are you? I'm 30. So if I said you're 45 and you're 30, is that a contradiction? Yes, Come on, bro. So right there in front of you. You're trying to take this and yeah. you're trying to pre pretty much get the whole Bible hey, look, hold on, hold on. one do, do you see these? Do you see these? It's not just one verse. I got you. Okay? <laughs> now, since... Bro... <laughs> hey! Bro took a whole lot of time 
just <laughs> a sticker one by one by one you know, all of the verses that makes you know have um, contradictions quote unquote contradictions but okay if you want to know it's the, others it's the first part. we will show you we'll look at the second part yeah, second chronicles 36 9 yeah you, you keep going back to the kings and to their ages and the dates so are, are those contradictions they don't you can't base the entire you can't say the word of god is contradicted because of the age okay. and the numbers Hold of on. the kings okay. and how old they were or were i got you bro no problem earlier you said okay. that you be uh, that, that was good too that was good too like it's just something very simple it's, it's something very simple you don't have to complicate it it is a hundred percent with a you know miss understanding maybe you know but back then, no mistakes no back contradictions then. absolutely now right now in front of you i've shown clear numeric undeniable contradictions well i can so show you would you. agree go ahead i can show you where the bible says jesus is the son of god i got you listen listen but if the bible is filled with mistakes how can you believe in a book put your salvation knowing there are clear undeniable errors in it oh let me let me show you from the new testament okay and Jacob, right, begot who? Joseph. And who was Joseph? The husband of? The husband of Mary, whom? of whom was born Jesus, who was called So who was the father of J Joseph? Jacob. You sure? Wait, wait, wait what's oh, the translation? Is this? <laughs> King James Version. Okay. <laughs> Which version is it? Which one do you use? No, I don't, I don't read the King James. What do you use? King James. And this is the new King James. New is just uh, updated English. This is literally the new King James. Okay. Luke 3, 23. Go ahead. Now, yeah. Jesus himself began his ministry at about 30 years old of age, being, as was supposed, the son of Joseph, the son of Heli. So who is the father of Joseph? Yeah, but, but you're, you're not understanding the, uh -huh. the whole breakdown of the genealogies. Okay. It doesn't exactly compare... Who is the father the, of Joseph? It, the whole translation of the genealogy. Who is the father of Joseph? <laughs> Whether the father of Joseph is Heli or Jacob. One that's of them's not wrong. The point. Right? But here's the thing, brother. Here's the thing. <laughs> okay. You wouldn't even have a Quran if there was no Bible. Okay. Uh, you don't answer the question with another statement that's way far from the, um, the question that he's asking. You know, he, that's not the way to answer it. Obviously, this guy doesn't know what he's, uh, doesn't know how to come back from that. I understand, like me myself, when I got asked that the first the first time by atheists, I was like, "Whoa, okay." I was like, "Well, I didn't know what to say." I was like, "Bro, you got me, okay." I'm I'm gonna actually have to like ask ask some people around and uh, get some information about it because uh, it's it's it's, de it's definitely really complicated to actually like, answer that. Uh, if you don't know how to uh, how to wipe, how the Bible and and the history works. Um, in Bible, and it's, it's funny. It doesn't really have anything to do with the Bible, like the versions of the Bible. It doesn't have anything to do at all with 